Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here and I hope you all enjoy um, this week as I'm in first grade today, long-term sub-observation tomorrow. Um, nothing yet for Thursday, but hopefully something will come up soon and Friday, I cannot remember. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm glad you guys can join me for this. <laughs> Happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, yeah, I'm in a first grade class today. This is actually the class that I, or the teacher that I pre-student taught for. So before, like, like, one of my first field experiences was with this teacher and it's awesome to kind of come back I don't know kind of like coming back to your roots in a way um, I know that sounds kind of weird but it kind of does feel that way a little bit and just like seeing all the familiar things that I do remember doing with her so that's really fun um, so just some of the things quick that we did um, the first, we read Tacky the Penguin, which I just love this and adore this book so much. It's so much fun. The kids love it, especially here in first grade, and it's just a lot of fun. It's, I don't know, it's just silly and goofy. Um, and we didn't get to them, but two of the things that she, I'm trying to find the other one that she had wanted us to do um, if we had time, which we did not. We barely had time for what we got through, but this is just a little thing they can put in their writer's notebook, and it just says what, uh, write about your favorite part of the story and tell why you liked it. And then um, this is just, let's see, oh, a little Venn diagram of how Tacky was different than his companions. And then I guess they can write about it too. So those were a couple of ideas. There's also another tacky book called um, Tacky in Trouble. So that's a cute one too. And just a tip that is pretty good that I really like. If you're ever planning for a sub, give them extra things. They probably won't get to it, but in case they do, Typically, I fill that time with playing a game, to be honest, but it is nice to have that extra stuff just in case things um, go faster than you think. Another thing is just to incorporate like fun little holiday things. Um, instead of pulling sticks, she just has these hearts and each of them has their number, their math number on here. So that's kind of a fun way to incorporate February and Valentine's and everything like that. Another really cool thing, you can see it actually behind me here. So these are cards that will um, tell the kids what movement to do. So I pulled a seven of spades and spades is jumping jacks. I don't think you can see it up there, but so spades would be jumping jacks or whatever activity and then they would do seven of them and then they can pick a few cards. So hearts is high knees. Um, clubs is squats and diamond is ski jumps so she just has this on a little pocket on the side of her desk and the helper of the day picks a card she has these really big ones but you could just use a regular deck of cards and it gives them a little movement break for math she did clear the board really simple it's just I mean a normal piece of paper it says clear the board has some numbers at the bottom and basically what you do is you have cubes, you put 10 cubes out however you want, and then you roll a dice, add those two numbers together, and take a cube off for whatever number you got the sum of. So that was fun, and the kids really liked that. It's a good way to practice math, and it's an easy game that doesn't require much setup. This afternoon, oh my goodness, we will be reading a Scholastic News about Abraham Lincoln and then the day's over so it was a pretty easy day so far they're pretty awesome um one of the sites they used here was splash math um so it's just like a math website kind of like that dream box i showed you guys and then um they just got to play with some of the cubes so 
I've talked for almost five minutes. I'm gonna let you guys go. I have to go down to the cafeteria to pick them up. So I'll talk, you, talk to you guys at the end of the day. Bye! If you ever wondered about my artistic abilities, that is it. That was the example. <laughs> And that's the picture I drew. So, yeah, a little lacking in the uh, artistic abilities department. But, you know, I give it a go and that's all I can do. <laughs> Which, honestly, is okay because, you know, I feel like it helps the kids know that, like, it's okay. To, <laughs> you know, like, they're not having to compare theirs to some, like, amazing drawing, you know, like... I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of them kind of turn out a little silly just because mine is like not great, but you know what? I try and that just shows them that as long as they try, that's important. I did have a I did have a little bit of a mini heart attack because on the plan here, it said to walk down to the gym at 12:30 and it was already 120 and my heart stopped. I was like, oh, I'm this late. But then I was like, wait a second. <laughs> and I looked back and it said lunch was and lunch and recess was at ended at 12.50. So I was like, okay, logically that doesn't make any sense. So 130 made more sense. Um, so I'm gonna pick them up at 215. We're going to do the calendar back here. So basically they change the calendar, they spell February, they sing the days of the week song, which I'm pretty sure is like to the Adams Family, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Okay, so that's kind of how it goes. Um, and then they have, you can see they have stars and hearts. So they get to choose an action. So maybe stars will be clap and then hearts will be cheer. So they'll go one, two, three, four, and then they'll count all the way up. And then um, they add a dot for like how many days they've been in school. And then they count by tens to the number 113 because they've been in school for 113 days. And then that is the end of the day. So. I'm gonna say goodbye. I need to do a lot of cleaning the desk. I knew I was gonna be late. The desk is a complete mess, so I just need to clean it up and um, write a couple notes and head out. Not head out. Um, and and just get ready for the after, like the end of the day here. So yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye, and um, I might not talk to you guys tomorrow. Again, just because, like, I'm doing the observations and stuff like that. But, um, on Thursday. So, see you guys then. Bye! Fourth graders, would you rather have two whole pages of just words? Or would you like it if there's a few pictures to look at? A few, a few, a few pictures, pictures to look at. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm in first grade, back in the class I was in the other day, and the kids are working on making walls. But it looks like you're still building with it. You guys are running out of clay too. Same. What was your mixture? Um, clay, sand, soil, clay, clay. You did soil, clay, clay? Hmm. We did sand, clay, and soil. The clay started to get drying out. What did you guys make? A wall. You made a wall? What did you use in your wall? Um, sand and clay. We don't have soil. I really want. Happy Monday, everybody. I just got to the school and. So, this is what I see when I walk in. And I'm a little bit overwhelmed, but then I remembered I'm actually going to be here on Friday. So today's Friday, and looks like we're going to do Dr. Seuss, and happy birthday, Dr. Seuss. And I'm also going to be here on Monday morning, so there are the things for Monday as well. So that makes a lot more sense. 
at first I was super overwhelmed, but now it makes a lot of sense to me. So, shoo, I can breathe again. So here are the Friday plans, and I'm actually also getting stuff ready on the computer here. So it's kind of nice. She has a bunch of the files ready for me. So essentially, I don't really have to do that much work. And honestly, for her, it's probably kind of nice too, because once it's on the notebook file, you don't really have to do that much work either. So that's really nice. So looking over the plans, I'm realizing very quickly that it's going to be a very long morning. Um, the first break I have is recess, at least based on what I'm seeing, because we have to go eat lunch with them, and that's at noon. And then recess isn't until 1.30. And then they have specialist right at the end of the day. So it's going to be... I feel like a long day, but then the end of the day will be good, so it goes either way. <laughs> My hair looks kind of crazy with the light shining behind it, but I swear it's not. Um, yeah, so I finished looking over the plans. She's very, very detailed. It's very thick, which is a really good thing, too, and lots of information, which is great, um, so that's really helpful. And yeah, I think it'll be a good day. Um, kindergarten, they do a lot of playing too, so that will be just fine. Checking the time quick. And yeah, so I think it's not going to be too bad. The only things I really want to make sure that are ready, like for sure, is kind of that morning stuff. So they have morning meeting, that's fine. Literacy will be fine. Um, and then they have literacy stations, so I want to make sure I go and get those ready and kind of have that prepared in my mind, ready to go. Otherwise, it looks like it should be um, not too bad or else I'll have time to kind of prep things as the morning goes on. So, I will catch you guys a little bit later. All right, it is the end of the day and wow, what a difference like lighting makes because I felt like the other lighting made my eyes look really weird, like really dark. And now you can see that I was just like my makeup. <laughs> Anyways, that's any anyway, stupid, but um, yeah. So I wanted to mention that Scott Burgess, I believe that's how you say it, left a comment on one of my videos recently and I wanted to answer his question so he was talking about like at the beginning how kindergartens kindergartners love to give hugs and I wanted to talk about it today since I am in kindergarten and basically I'm gonna skip down to the question that he asked he said the way you have talked way you have talked about K through one grades it seems as though those are your favorites and where you want to end up with in the teaching per so and where, like basically where do you want to end up and kind of what grade do you want to teach? Um, he said, is kindergarten one of the top choices for a teaching position that you want? To be honest, I'm actually not certified in kindergarten. And the only reason I can teach it is because I am a substitute. So I could teach up all the way to adult education, all the way down to preschool, just because I'm a substitute. But for a full-time position, I would not be eligible to do kindergarten. My license is only from one to six. I'd have to take some early childhood classes. And honestly, I forget how insanely crazy kindergarten is. Like kudos to these teachers because I feel like it's just crazy. There's constantly kids like yelling. They don't know the rules of school yet. And <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's just a little bit much for me. I feel like if I was in it every single day, that would be different. But like going from first grade and fourth grade and fifth grade and all these different grades coming down all the way to kindergarten is can be kind of a lot. So I feel like I could do it. I feel like I could love it and it could be something that I want to do every day. But currently, I'm not certified in it anyways. So... Um, to answer that question, honestly, I don't know because 
it's so dependent on the kids and I, I don't know like I've been in first grade classes that I love and just it's so much fun and then I've been in first grade classes that I'm like I don't know how the teacher does it every day that's for lack of like better explanation and then same for fifth grade I've been in fifth grade classes where I'm like whoa this is amazing like top of the school and like doing everything that they need to be and then I've been in fifth grade where I'm like same thing you know I don't know how the teacher does it every day so for me that's kind of the thing um obviously the younger grades are fun because they love their teachers so so much and the upper grades I think they still love their teachers but they just show it differently but you can do so much more with like dive deeper into the content than you can in first grade and second grade so I do love that about third fourth and fifth but I mean the hugs and being able to be cutesy and I feel like my classroom management can be a lot better with first and second and kindergarten but so that's kind of my explanation I really don't know I think honestly I'd be happy just anywhere that I end up because I love teaching I love the kids and I feel like I can adapt to any situation and any grade level and still enjoy it and love it and put as much effort into it especially like you can do coding in all the different grades you can do breakout in all the different grades because I've done breakout with first graders and I've done breakout with fifth graders if you don't know what break it is go check out some of my past videos but um, yeah so I just I don't know I just love teaching and honestly wherever I end, I end up like I will be happy with that so Scott thank you for your question um, I really hope that you are having an amazing teaching experience yes I'm from Minnesota um, it is getting warmer outside which is nice so I'm gonna sign off for the week I was gonna show you guys some financial stuff but I think I might save that for a week that is not as busy so I will catch you guys next week bye guys <laughs>